Please. World! It's time to go reeling through the greatest television shows of all time on Count Potato! <laughs> Well, hi, I'm Joe Alasky, and hey to Goober. Right now, here he is, my next-door neighbor and favorite host, Mark Summers. Hi there. Whoa. Hi there. Look at this. Come on. <laughs> hi there. Thank you. Welcome to Couch Potatoes, the game focusing on the best of television, both past and present. You never know what shows might pop up back there on our TV sets, but before we get to the shows, let's get to the people. Our contestants, to my left, they call themselves Petticoat Junction. <laughs> I would like you to meet Diane, Suzanne, and Carolyn. Or do you prefer Caroline? Carolyn. Carolyn, I'm so glad. Now, you were doing a little Petticoat Junction action there. I saw that. Is that one of your favorite shows? Yeah. yeah. Apparently the name. And uh, Diane, how are you all friends? Well... Sue and I aren't friends. We're related, so we didn't have much choice. <laughs> I see. You're not Carolyn friends at all. <laughs> How are you related? <laughs> We're sisters. I see. And, and Carolyn is our dear friend. All right, good. Nice to have you here. Uh, you have no money yet. It'd be impossible to have money. You just got here. Right. But we have some people over here who have about $7,000. They call themselves the Match Caters. As a matter of fact, 7550 And it's Kathy. Hi. Bruce. Hi, Mark. And Anita. Hi. Anita, what is that, a penguin on your body? It is, yes. Two little penguins, I like that. Well, Bruce, now today, uh, <laughs> we keep finding out that you're the uh, low man on the totem pole. They answer first, and you're stuck on the bubble. Uh, how do you feel about that? Well, it ha do friends do that to each other? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> so good luck today. Let's talk about the rules here on Couch Potatoes. We're going to ask you anything and everything about television, from daytime, prime time, perhaps commercial time. And any time there's something on the tube, guess what? Couch Potatoes is going to be there. Each round begins with a tune-in question, and the team that answers correctly earns 25 rating points, and they get control for the spin-off questions that follow. Whichever team has the most rating points at the end of the game will win $1,000 and then go on to play our Channel Roulette bonus game. It's worth $5,000. Good luck to both teams. We have a $5,000 bonus round at the end of this game. We have a tune-in question right now. Let's see who's going to get there. They were aliens. They were French. Or they were dead. What was so unusual about Cosmo Toppers? Yes, Anita. They were dead. Yeah, the Kirby's were dead. They were ghosts. You're right. <laughs> All right. 25 rating points, and you've earned control for this round. Spin off questions on the subject of TV ghosts. <laughs> oh, that scares the heck out of me. <laughs> okay. Here's a 25-point uh, a question for Kathy, Bruce, or Anita. When Mrs. Muir purchased Gull Cottage, she got more than she bargained for. She also inherited a blowhard of a ghostly sea captain. Name him. Yes, Kathy. Captain Greg. Played by Edward Mulhair. You are right. I'm going to add another 25 points. Now, if I had to make a prediction, I would probably suspect that Anita might answer this next question. But who knows? Maybe we'll change that. The one ghostly TV series in the 1980s was Jennifer Slept Here. Jennifer was the kind of ghost a guy would probably pay to haunt him. Who played the Phantom Jennifer? Boy, how did I know this? Anita. And Jillian. And Jillian is right. Well, for those of you who've been watching the show on a regular basis, we realize that Bruce <laughs> is in the hot seat one more time. Is it going to be 100 rating points or not? Listen to this theme song, and don't get scared. Tell me the name of this popular ghostly series. Yes, Bruce. Is it Casper the Friendly Ghost? Yes, it is Casper the Friendly Ghost. The Friendly Ghost, you know. Well, they've done it one more time. They have 100 rating points and Petticoat Junction. They didn't let you play yet, but perhaps in this next tune-in round, you can get, uh, get involved. Let's see what happens. Phil, Eleanor, or Troy, which of these Donahues would be least likely to hit you if you called them princess? And that would be Anita. Phil. No, it is <gasps> Eleanor because she was on Father Knows Best, and that means no points, but Petticoat Junction, you get control. Okay. It was Eleanor Donahue and... Uh, what we're going to do is talk about uh, Father Knows Best right over here. And uh, here we go. We're all set. All right. If you think I wouldn't hit you. Hi there. <laughs> that was Eleanor over Donahue. 20 years ago. <laughs> Eleanor Donahue from Father Knows Best. Yeah, that was over 20 years ago. Yeah. And I'd like you to meet uh, Phil Donahue's uh, wife. It's Marlo Thomas, right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, right over uh, here. Uh, Mark, uh, I'm sorry. That's Marlo Thomas. I'm Eleanor Donahue from Father Knows Best. Oh, that's yeah. right. I always get that mixed up. It's Phil. It's Eleanor. One of those Donahue's. Anyway, we're just pulling your leg. It's really good to have you here. And, and we've decided, since you've been on so many shows and successfully, uh, we do an entire round based uh, around your career. Oh. Oh, 
that's great. Yeah, would you like that? Oh, yeah. And as yeah. a matter of fact, uh, we actually uh, have an award. Did they tell you anything about this? Oh, yeah, well, the producers told me I was here to pick up some sort of a, a Golden Globe award. <laughs> well, actually, uh, it's not a Golden Globe. Let me show it to you. It's, it's right down here. I'll bring it up to you. This is a uh, Golden Russet Award, you see, <laughs> for the most valuable potato. And I uh, hope you like that. That's... Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, is it edible? <laughs> no, as a matter of fact, I tell you what, let's uh, talk to Petticoat Junction about some questions here, all right? Okay. Great. As Mark mentioned up front, and I'm sure that most of you know, I was princess on Father Knows Best. Yes, of course. I wanted to call the show Princess Knows Best, but you know. They wouldn't let you do that, probably. Anyway, princess had another name. What was my character's first name? Yes, Carolyn. Betty. Betty Anderson. That's right. That is right. That's 25 rating points on the board. Suzanne, Diane, we have questions coming in your direction right now. Okay, when the Andy Griffith Show went in the air in 1960, I played Ellie Walker, the town druggist, which meant, among other things, I dispensed bobby pins to Thelma and Aunt Bee. Yeah. <laughs> I was romantically linked with one of Mayberry's leading citizens, and no, it wasn't Otis. <laughs> <laughs> Who is my guy? Yes, Suzanne. Sheriff Taylor. Yes, okay. Sheriff Andy yeah. Taylor. Yeah. Well, Diane, you are in the hot seat now. You could have 75 rating points if you could answer this last question correctly. Okay, in the 1970s, I had a more finicky boyfriend whose idea of a great date was cleaning the oven and honking. <laughs> My character's name was Miriam. Name the show. You know, Diane? No. Time's up. Can you take it over here, Mash Taters? Oh my. Yes, Kathy. The Tony Randall show? Uh, that is not it. Actually, it was the odd couple. So we're not going to give any points that time around. But yes, there's Tony, and there you are, right yeah. over there. Yes. That means we have 100 rating points now for the Mash Taters and 50 over there for Petticoat Junction. Do you have any great memories you must from Father Knows Best? Oh, I have so many memories. And the, the funny things like Robert Young trying to make us laugh by putting his coat on Funny and his hat, and we were really? rehearsing, yeah. And Jane Wyatt loving to get dirty when we had camping shows. She just loved all that. And Lauren and Dilly and I kicking each other or pinching under the table. And we were very young, trying to break each other up. Uh, Do you ever see a take. each other anymore? Oh, sure. Oh, sure. As a matter of fact, we may be doing a new series for the Christian Broadcast. Oh, you're network. kidding yeah. me. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. Oh, everybody coming back? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, out of all the series that you've done, which one stands out in your mind uh, as, as, I guess, a favorite, if you had to pick one? Okay. Well, quite frankly, because it was so off the wall, the last one I did for the Fox Network, Beans Baxter. Beans the new Baxter. adventures of Beans Baxter. I had a ball doing that. Well, that's great. Fun. Well, uh, I uh, have been holding this for you, but I know you don't want to leave Cosmo <laughs> Taylor without it. How about Absolutely a round of applause? Absolutely not. <laughs> Carolyn Thank you. We're going to come much. back uh, with round three of Cosmo Potatoes right after you listen to this. Come back and see us, all right? Good job. Eleanor Donahue, I had such a crush on her, and she's played so many nice, wonderful, sweet ladies in her career. But did you know that recently she played a very evil nurse on the daytime drama, what was it? Days of Our Lives, that's right. But I'll always remember as Miss Alley. What a crush I had on her, boy. Pretty good, pretty good. First time I called, I was just looking for someone to talk to. The first time I called, I was just looking to have fun. The first time we called, we were just looking for a party. Why be alone? Make the connection on America's Introduction Line. Dial 1-900-909-4040. Hear personal messages and phone numbers from single guys and gals across the country. 1-900-909-4040. It's the newest way to meet people. America's Introduction Line. 1-900-909-4040. Why be alone when you're near your phone? You're looking at New Jersey Potemkin's $50,000 cash machine. This week, we'll beat their deal on any new Chevrolet. Or you can keep as much of the 50000 as you can grab in 90 seconds. We'll beat their deal on any new Mitsubishi. Or I'm going to put you in this booth for 90 seconds with $50,000 cash. You, you got the power at the check-in. At Coronet, we take our commercials very seriously. That's how we became one of the largest baby furniture and toy stores in the tri-state area. We don't play games here, we sell them. And at Coronet's famous low, low discount prices. Coronet is open seven days a week where you get giant discounts for little people. And no talking orangutans. We know what kids want. We were kids once too, you know. Coronet, 1111 Old Country Road, Westbury. Boy, was I surprised. 